Hi everybody, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop, and today I'm going to turn this half inch and three quarter inch plywood into a rolling rack for my son's audio gear. My son drew up this sketch to show me everything he wants to store in the rack. So I made some measurements, and I'm going to start by cutting two sides out of this half inch plywood that are 18 inches tall and 18 inches deep. And then I'm going to cut a top and bottom piece out of the three quarter inch plywood that are 18 inches deep and 22 inches wide. Hey look, I made a box. <laughs> In his sketch, he wants a drawer across the top. So I'm going to take this extra cutoff piece and cut a couple of runners and attach them to the sides and then make a drawer to fit. I'm attaching them with CA glue and then I'm going to screw them in from the outside. Alright, I've got all the parts of the drawer cut and I'm just going to put it together with some glue and brad nails. I'm going to make a frame for this rack mount unit out of this leftover piece of three quarter inch plywood and it's going to be mounted down here in the center of the cabinet and I'm going to set it back some so that when cables are plugged into the front they don't protrude out of the front of the cabinet. That way we could put some doors on the front. Well, this piece was supposed to be 22 inches wide. But for some reason, I cut it to 21 inches. There must be something wrong with my tape measure. <laughs> I think I can save it though by cutting a couple of spacers out of half inch plywood to put on each side and then screw from the outside of the case. Alright, at this point in the project, I thought it would be a good idea to show it to my son, make sure his gear fits in here, and to see if he has any changes he wants to make. And we did decide to make a few changes. I cut a few inches off the back to make it a little smaller. I also framed in the back with some half inch plywood to keep the drawer from coming out of the back. And also left an opening here so he could access the back of the audio units to plug in cables. And on the front, I changed the drawer so the face does not overlap the frame. Rather, the drawer it is recessed into the cabinet now. And the reason is we're going to put two doors on the front uh, that will keep the drawer closed and also enclose uh, the front of the case. I added a strip of plywood down here to keep the guitar pedal board that's going to go on the bottom shelf contained as well. So to wrap this project up, I'm going to cut a couple of doors for the front. I'm going to paint everything black. I'm going to add some casters to the bottom once I get it assembled. 
And oh, also, I'm going to cut a couple of hand holds, uh, holes into the side here so you can reach in and carry the cabinet if you want to. So uh, let's finish this project up. Here's the finished case and we're going to find out how well it works this Saturday at my son's gig in Atlanta at the Masquerade Club. Let me show you a few things I added to it off camera and stick around to the end of this video to watch some footage of my son's band and you can see the case on stage. I couldn't find a good hasp or latch to keep the two doors closed so I made one. It's just a lever with a little catch. Inside the case is a rack mount audio interface that's secured with a bolt and wing nut on each side and also the guitarist pedal board fits in the bottom and I secured a power strip on the side to power everything. And my son actually puts his laptop on top of the case, connects it to both of these and his laptop plays backing tracks along with his band and it also controls the guitarist pedal board and changes the guitar sounds as the song goes along so the guitar player doesn't have to step on the pedals. I attached this panel to the back to contain the cables inside the case during transport. There is also a couple of cutouts here for running cables up to the laptop and the power cord out to the outlet. And this is just attached with Velcro so they can just take it off and get access to the back of the units in here. And of course, I had to stencil my son's band name, Mirthless, all over the sides. So check out this footage of this case and my son's band, Mirthless, live on stage in Atlanta. If you like the band, I'll put a link to their Facebook page in the video description below. So head over there and give their page a like. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this project. Don't forget to click that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and check out some of my older videos. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.